Okay, we're here in, I don't know, somewhere in Cebu, near Ely Rock. And you know, Cynthia's decided she'd like to come and see this ancient church. It's uh, really quite something. We'll find out more about it. Let's see. There's a welcome board. Post Office Museum Souvenir Shop. Holy door. It says, the Church of Bolohun, a national cultural treasure, natural historic landmark. Okay, well that's nice. Uh, doesn't tell us anything about the year. We'll have to find out more about that. Maybe there's a plaque with a date or something. 1521. 1521. Is that the age of this church? Could it be? 1521. Wow. If that's the case, that's 500 years. Is this church 500 years old? That's a lot of church time here. Wow. I hope we're getting to see the whole thing here. We're going to back it up a little bit. We'll go like this. It's right on the ocean, which is nice. And, okay, can we see the whole thing? Wow. 1521. Obviously established by the Spanish. We got some very interesting stone carvings on on the front. Obviously a, a saint or two. And of course Mother Mary. Of course you got Mother Mary who's so predominant in Catholicism. And I guess this is the holy door. Can I walk through the holy door? Can I walk through the holy door? I can walk through the holy door. <laughs> wow. Jeez, isn't this something? Tourism information here and some food items you can buy. This church was established in 1521? Oh, church. Oh, it's over there. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I thought you worked here. You don't work here. No. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you worked here. <laughs> Hmm. Blue, ba Can you put this Blue right? Blue hoon? Blue hoon. Blue hoon. I can always say it wrong. Blue hoon. Blue hoon. Blue hoon. Now I can say it wrong. Right. Things for sale like that uh, Christian, um, Catholic. Yeah. Oh, they got cups. Blue hoon Parish Museum. Oh, here it goes. Good morning, how are you today? We've just come to visit and take some pictures. This is 18th century church. So, Christianity may be 500 years old in, in the Philippines, but this church was built in the 18th century, so that would put it in the 1700s. So, it's at least 300 years old. Is there is there a donation box or something that you... you... Yeah, I know. The, the beans, yeah. Yes, and we'll make an offering. Wow, look at this place. This is just okay. This is where this is where it gets spooky. I I was born Protestant, so we didn't have like statues in our church. Ooh. Wow, look at this. Oh my! Ah, there's Jesus on the cross. After all these years, they want to take him down. Not one, but two Jesus on the cross. Mother Mary in her Sunday finest. She would have never worn such a thing. But we got to dress her up because it is church. No. Wow, look at the size of this place. This is massive. It's very long. The third Jesus with Mary. Wow, yeah, frescoes. It probably dates back in the 1800s. Well, it says that this church was established in the 17th century, so that would, or the 18th century, so that would be the 1700s. It's quite a while ago. I don't see a placard which states the actual date of this church's construction. 
Hello. painted ceilings here. Not much into the uh, stained glass. There's a the little, I guess that's a lectern, they call it, or a lay reader or a celebrant will climb and get help along the service. And here we go. We're coming into the Holy of the Holies. Wow. I don't know. I'm not much for uh, for religiosity. Uh, I'm a person of, of faith, but I can honestly say that there's um, there's there's a very strong feeling of sacredness here. Maybe from all of the people that have worshipped for so many years, huh? or perhaps it's the daunting architecture with the row of saints up there. Hmm. Not sure who they all are, but there's a number of them. Yeah, as I mentioned, being born Protestant, I always had uh, a little question in my head regarding you know the old Ten Commandments, where it says uh, you know not to worship craven images. So I guess they just forgot that one and they established this this sect. But it is a Christian sect, and each sect worships in their own way. Frankly, I find the statuary a little bit spooky, but that's probably just because I didn't grow up with it. Kind of reminiscent of Hindu, Hindu deities in there. The old nooks in the wall. But this is not Hindu. This is the Roman Catholic Church. Lots of statues. A nice painted ceiling. There's a huge number of seats and shoes. I hope they still get good crowds. Oh, they've got a church organ up above, a pipe organ. You can see it. That would make quite the sound in here. A bamboo. Oh, those, those look like steel pipes to me, sweet. Yeah, steel pipes, it's an organ. Uh, an organ, bamboo organ. I don't know about bamboo, it looks steel to me. Look at it. Very impressive structure. Yeah, you can hear the birds chirping up in the rafters. They're the little Maya birds that you find everywhere in the Philippines. They're like little swallows. They make homes in public places and buildings. They just define the shade. In this instance, they're, uh, they're shacking up in a 18th century church. So this church was built somewhere in the 1700s. Definitely has um, a, a very strong historic feel about it. And uh, yeah, you can feel an energy. It's, it's the architecture or something spiritual. It's hard to say. There's a, a wonderful reverberation. They're, they're quite good at um, what they called uh, in the poem. Mystic architecture, uh, sound factored into sound and uh, lengths and divisions of height and width in order to create uh, spaces of divine influence and divine inspiration. And you can obviously feel it in here. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of noise going on in the background at this moment. Let's see if they stop. Their cutting saw, whatever they're doing there. But you can hear a very strong echo, and, and the sound reverberates through the entire structure. So, and just by design, the, uh, the priest or the, you know, the lay reader would have no need of, of a microphone to assist them in his sermon because the sound just carries through this place. You could hear a pin drop, or maybe a penny at least traffic wasn't so bad from the front to the back. It's, it's pretty incredible. Well, I think we're going to go outside now. Um, we sat down and, and gave our thanks to the Lord above and uh, yeah, 
we're going to reach into our pockets so that we can get a little offering so that the, uh, the priests can continue to do their, their good work here. And I think we'll have a look around the outside grounds and uh, move on to, to other locales. That's it for now. It's closed, huh? It's closed. Oh, we can. You can't go. <laughs> Is that a bamboo? Yes, bamboo. bamboo organ. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm. Hey, Jennifer, you wouldn't happen to know what year this church was built. Uh, 1600s. 1600s. Wow. You don't know the date, though, eh? Yeah, the Spanish era. Wow. It's a beautiful church. Very, very nice. We leave a little offering. A little offering for church maintenance petitions here. You live in here? You live here? You're welcome. Uh, are we live? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to go up this here. Is also an old mm, this is kind of spooky. Overlooking the ocean, look at the size of the planks in this floor. Wow. Wow. Looks like it's held together with. things like they used to. This is like a building that's been here for 400 years. And the wood planks are still solid and intact. guessing that this looks like either eating or meeting room seems to seems to be a little disused at this point but it's well maintained okay we got a firm date on the foundation of this church it was built in 1592 it's a 422 or 23 years wow that's old that's really old small wonder you can feel like ghosts <laughs> we're talking you know eight generations of, of people have, have uh, attended this, this particular establishment it's pretty 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 impressive it's awesome 
Very nice. Silhouette. <laughs> Hello, Reggie. Hello. I'm Greg. Yeah. We're just taking some, some pictures. Yes. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful church. Very yes. nice. There's, I mean, uh, the rest of the property um, is basically off limits to public. I guess it's because it's, you know, it's a holy place. It's just where, um, you know, priests and I guess monks uh, reside and, and go about their, their daily worship and business. You can see no entry. They do have a nice courtyard. Apparently tennis courts too. So one of the... Uh, one of the priests or the uh, the clergy are obviously into fitness and, and keeping fit by you know, hitting a few balls around. That's pretty cool. Gotta like that. This looks like it must be the old manse. The manse is a place where the, uh, the residing priest would have taken residence while leading the church. It's a school? School. Ah. Wow, okay. No, well, it's not a manse. It's an old school. I guess. Girls and boys entries. I heard some music playing. I heard a band playing. Niagara Falls. That's where I'm from. It's Niagara Falls. They're watching. Hydroelectric energy. Inside they're watching a video about hydroelectricity and Niagara Falls and Nikola Tesla who invented uh, AC alternating current which enabled us to have electricity. Very cool. I think there's a lot of opportunity to, to plug into hydroelectric energy down here because they've got a lot of rivers coming from the mountains. They could throw turbines in without disrupting the, uh, the ecosystem too much because they'd only have to have small small reservoirs. Okay, just going to do a little panoramic spin of the, the courtyard in front of the church and the church itself and its location, how where it's situated. There you go. 400 year old church in Bolohun, Bolohun, Cebu, Cebu, Bolohun, Cebu.